of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, divine word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son. And with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live in love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray for the following intentions of this Mass as shown on the screen.
A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Tuesday of the 12th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Louis Punzalan, SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel reading for today contains three disconnected sayings of Jesus. They are important life lessons that we can reflect on throughout the day. Number one, do not throw what is holy to dogs. Do not throw your pearls to swine. Number two, do to others what you want others to do unto you. And number three, enter through the narrow gate. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Abram was very rich in livestock, silver, and gold. Lot, who went with Abram, also had flocks and herds and tents, so that the land could not support them if they stayed together. Their possessions were so great that they could not dwell together. There were quarrels between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and those of Lot's. At this time, the Canaanites and the Perizzites were occupying the land. So Abram said to Lot, Let there be no strife between you and me, or between your herdsmen and mine, for we are kinsmen. Is not the whole land at your disposal? Please separate from me. If you prefer the left, I will go to the right. If you prefer the right, I will go to the left. Lot looked about and saw how well watered the whole Jordan plain was as far as Zor, like the Lord's own garden, or like Egypt. 
This was before the Lord had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot therefore chose for himself the whole Jordan plain and set out eastward. Thus they separated from each other. Abram stayed in the land of Canaan, while Lot settled among the cities of the plain, pitching his tents near Sodom. Now the inhabitants of Sodom were very wicked in the sins they committed against the Lord. After Lot had left, the Lord said to Abram, Look about you and from where you are, gaze to the north and south, east and west. All the land that you see I will give to you and your descendants forever. I will make your descendants like the dust of the earth. If anyone could count the dust of the earth, your descendants too might be counted. Set forth and walk about in the land through its length and breadth, for to you I will give it. Abram moved his tents and went on to settle near the Terebinth of Mamre, which is at Hebron. There he built an altar to the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor take up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. We now honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs. Do not throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate. The gate is wide, the road broad that leads to destruction, and those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life. And those who find it are few. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Our gospel reading for today contains three different and disconnected sayings of the Lord. They have nothing to do with one another. Number one, do not give what is holy to dogs. Do not throw your pearls before swine. In one sentence, it means take care of what is precious in your life. What are some of the precious things in our life? Our faith is precious. Our family is precious. Education is precious. And you can go on and on and on and you can make a long list of things that are precious in your life. Take care that you do not damage them, that you, not, you do not throw them away. The second, do to others whatever you want them to do unto you. This is the golden rule. But if there is a golden rule, there is also a silver rule. What is the silver rule? The silver rule is the opposite of the golden rule. If the golden rule says, Do to others what you want others to do unto you, the silver rule says, Do not do to others what you do not want others to do unto you. The third saying in the gospel, Enter through the narrow gate. My dear friends, let us reflect about the narrow gate this morning. What does the Lord mean when we say, when He says, enter through the narrow gate? Incidentally, His teaching on the narrow gate today is from the Gospel of Matthew. But you will find the same narrow gate story, but in a different context, in the two other Gospels. Again, it is in Matthew, it is in Mark, it is in Luke. When our Lord was asked by the rich young men, what must I do in order to enter eternal life? And the rich young man left very sad because the rich young man had many possessions. And facing the disciples, the Lord said, you want to enter also the kingdom of God? You enter through the narrow gate. It will be easier for a camel to enter to the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. What is the narrow gate? My dear brothers and sisters, instead of describing what the narrow gate is, I'd like that we focus on the challenge of the Lord addressed to the disciples and to all of us. He says, and I quote, He strive to enter through the narrow gate because many, I tell you, will attempt to enter but they will not be strong enough. It will be easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle. He strive to enter Marami ang nagtatangka. Marami ang susubok na pumasok sa kaharian ng langit. Marami ang gustong makalusot, makapasok sa makipot na pintuan. Is drive to enter pag sumikapan, pag pilitan, gawin ang lahat upang tayo ay makapasok sa kaharian ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng makipot na daan. My dear friends, entrance to the kingdom of God through the narrow gate will not be easy. Our Lord says, strive to enter. What does the word or the verb strive mean? Strive will suggest a real effort. It is a challenge. It is a struggle. It is a recommendation. 
it is a command that will demand a personal effort and a personal striving on the part of anybody. The Greek word is agonizomai. Agonizomai is from the Greek word, well, agonizomai is a Greek word, and agonizomai speaks of struggle and exertion and hard work. And agonizomai in Greek is the origin of the English word agony. We have to agonize to enter through the narrow gate because it will not be easy. Ang ibig sabihin sa Tagalog, we have to agonize, dapat nating paghirapan ang pagpasok sa makipot na pintuan. It will not be easy. It will not be a walk in the park. It will not be a picnic. No one can buy his ticket to heaven. Heaven will not be given to you and to me on a silver platter. To get into the household of God by going to Mass every single Sunday will not be enough because entrance is granted only after a personal agonizing struggle. It will cost much to enter and the price is to be done personally. In short, salvation is not by association. Salvation is not by affiliation. Salvation is not by extension. The narrow gate demands a disposition of humility. It demands self-denial. It demands detachment and forgiveness and purity and honesty and truthfulness and mercy. In other words, the narrow gate demands obeying the commandments of God no matter what the cost. My dear brothers and sisters, I think it is not the kingdom of God that has a narrow gate. What is really the narrow gate? If you will try to stretch our reflection about the narrow gate, in reality, it is not heaven that has a narrow gate. It is the human heart that has a narrow gate. God could not enter the gate of our heart because of the wideness of our natural selfishness, because of the wideness of our self-centeredness. And the narrow gate has been made small so that only the little ones will fit through the narrow gate. The greatest is the smallest. The smallest is the greatest. In the final analysis, if we go to heaven, we have no one to thank but God. If we go to hell, we have no one to blame but ourselves. Let us continue to strive to enter through the narrow gate. Amen. Let us all stand. Christ promises that the narrow gate leads to life. Let us come to our Heavenly Father with the trust and confidence of the prayer our Lord taught us. Let the response be, Lord, open to us the door of grace. Lord, open to us the door of grace. That the leaders of the church may guide the flock to the door that leads to life, we pray. Lord, open to us the door of grace, that as a community we may treat one another with respect, consideration, and love, we pray. Lord, open to us the door of grace, 
that we may carry out God's will by our compassionate dealings with others, we pray. Lord, open to us the door of grace. That the sick and those suffering from various illnesses may find strength and healing, we pray. Lord, open to us the door of grace. That the faithful departed may be raised with Christ, we pray. Lord, open, open to, to us the door, the narrow, of, the door grace. of grace. And we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Do Lord, Lord open, open to, to us, us the, the door, door of, grace. of grace. Heavenly Father, create within us sincerity of heart so that we may love and respect others as you treasure them. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created a human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, all your saints in heaven with one heart bless you. Therefore we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Said. 
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the Apostles, as well as Saints Thomas More, John Fisher, and Paulinus of Nola, and all the Saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family of God, let us again pray the beautiful prayer that the Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us, us this today day our, our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we as forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver but us deliver. from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and fear as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And you said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us greet each other with a sign of Lamb of 
of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, words of love. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus says to the disciples, Strive to enter through the narrow gate. Because the road to damnation is wide, but the road to heaven is narrow. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus who also says, I am the gate. The Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world, happy are those invited to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <laughs> pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you need now look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 
We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Janssen and Joseph Reinademitz, pray for us. Please be seated for some announcements. We are inviting all couples who would like to renew their marriage vows to join and participate in the Shrine's Third Renewal of Marriage Vows or Renewal ng Bayan on June 27, 2021, Sunday at 8 a.m. For those who in are interested, you may register at bit.ly slash Shrine Renewal ng Bayan or send us a message through the Shrine's Facebook page. Thank you. Kami po ay patuloy na nananawagan sa mga nais tumulong na magpaaral sa mga nagpapari dito sa Christ the King Mission Seminary. We are appealing for financial assistance, for financial help for those who are, for seminarians who are, whose families and parents are financially handicapped. Hindi nila kayang mag-aral sapagkat uh, wala silang resources to stay in the seminary. Um, if you are interested to send or to help send a seminarian to study for the priesthood here at Christ the King, please let me know by writing me a, a short email asking for inquiry, asking for information about the mechanics and the procedure that we follow the, uh, so when, when, when you want, if a person wants to sponsor a seminarian in his studies. We are flashing, we are posting in front of you our email address which is ckmsdonorcare at gmail.com ckmsdonorcare at gmail.com If you are interested, if you are curious, if you are willing, we will definitely and we will humbly and joyfully appreciate and uh, express our gratitude to you for helping one or the other of our guys studying here at Christ the King. We also have our BDO account that is being flashed in front of you. Uh, if you want to send your help to our seminarians uh, via BDO, please take note of our account name which is Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. And our account number is 000 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -1 -
Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Ave Maria, Gustus ka 